hi guys and welcome to my channel if you like anything about graphite pencils but hate the shine that it produces after the sketch then i guess you're gonna like this video very much this is a hyper realistic sketch of a man and you can see the shades on his head and the light and dark effect it produces around him and most of you dropped your comment below on my last video of an overview of a charcoal pencil and graphite bronzeal pencil and I like well the rest of my videos came up with overviews of sketches and I haven't really produced a video which really shows a speed sketch of how I started my work but I promise you guys in my next video I'm gonna do that right away most people have told me about how difficult it is to start in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I started my art career and the benefits of choosing a career in arts and also the kind of pencils, faber castell pencil, charcoal pencil and graphite pencils and how you can use them to get a good work. It was kind of challenging using lead pencils like 3B pencil or 4B pencil. In this sketch, I used a Faber Castell graphite pencil coupled with a charcoal pencil and I got some blending stump that I used and also for the bears, I tried using a darker pencil which is going to create the real nature of the hairs and for the lips, I used the Faber Castell graphite pencil, the 7B grade of that pencil and sometimes you could choose to use a higher grade of the pencil and it's going to create a better work and it also helps to reduce the shine you could also use a tissue paper if you're not comfortable with a blended stump to render and also i wouldn't advise you to use your fingers because sometimes it can create some kind of stains which could be hardly removed by an eraser this probably was the third sketch i did on my project work i also used Faber Castell graphite pencil for this work and I used a lumograph pencil to create the sharper part of the bears to make it look realistic and also some part of his lips. So friends thank you 